This is Salamancer, and I'll bet you think this team looks like they have pretty normal ads, don't you? You would think that. You would. But you'd be wrong. And this is a game between a team called Can't Play HL Match. So, uh, of course, they are referring to the fact that maybe some of them are on Highlander teams. Versus the red team, which is called Soft Served. And they do have a shirt so chill, which I believe so chill is, of course, the, uh, <laughs> the the tag for their team, which I actually didn't know until I started the game. So that's pretty hilarious. Soft serve, so chill. And uh, it looks like right away they are getting out to the first match on Snakewater. They have been, you know, at least I've seen the invite team scrimming a lot on this. If you watched, like, Lansky's scream or uh, <laughs> scream stream, or if you watched Langa's or anybody else who does it, those two, I think, stream quite a lot. So I do recommend watching them. It looks like so far... Team so chill is gonna take the middle point. They're trying to take out this last scout combo over here that is pressuring them a little bit. And it does look like Pot, the demo band, got away. I've seen Pot a couple places. I want to say maybe TF2 lobby. I do not know if he's played sixes before in ESEA, so I do apologize, Pot, if you have. I'm uh, just a moron, but uh, I know I've seen him around. So we're gonna see just how good of a demo man he is. In fact, I've definitely played against him before, and I think about it because, um, you know, s seeing my own death and reading in the kill cam that it was caused by pot stickies is definitely a thing I remember a lot. So uh, he's easy to demo. Oh god, I can't even talk. He's a decent demo man. We'll just have to see if he can't carry his team to victory. Uh, so far, the soccer team they do have. 100% Uber, but they're not pushing in yet, which is sort of a hallmark, I guess, of uh, ESEA Open. <laughs> uh, you know, there, there's mistakes on, like, should we push now, should we wait? Um, which, essentially, sometimes they might actually let their opposing team get 100% Uber, even though they killed the medic at mid, which is pretty crazy. They do look like they have brought out a sniper for the blue team, and he's going to try and take some shots over here at the red. Hasn't managed to get it yet. Team So Chill, soft served. Here at ESEA Open is... Uh, Managing to capture the second point. And that looked like that splash damage should have hit Jesus here, but it didn't. Or maybe it's Jesus. I guess I'll call him Jesus for now, because that would make more sense. Um, or just the same amount of sense. Maybe maybe it's like a happy face, because he likes Jesus. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, okay, so anyway. I forgot to mention, I'm super excited that ESCA has started up a new season. Pretty awesome, so we're going to have lots of easy-to-come-by STV demos where I can see the score in advance, and I know it's going to be an exciting game. And all the STV demos are uploaded automatically, which is super swell, because most leagues don't do that. And as much as I love casting games from other leagues, you know, UGC and ETF2L and everywhere else, um, people have to send me their STV demos if they can get access to them, which often, you know, they'll have to go find the admin, and then the admin's going to be all like, oh, I don't want to give away the secrets of our team, especially in, you know, the high-level European play, that, so they try to hoard all their STV demos, because if they don't have to give them out, they don't want... Anyway, point is, there's kind of a stalemate going on here on Snakewater between these two teams, and I am kvetching a little bit about uh, the fact that ESEA is the only league to make all STV demos publicly accessible like this, right after the game, you know, directly after the game, it's uploaded immediately. So, anyway, ESCA is pretty awesome for that. That's all I have to say about it, and it does look as if there's going to be a push fairly soon. These teams are kind of getting ready to go. Um, the thing about Soft Served right now is that they're, they're sort of making this mistake where they're like, okay, we have the second point, what now? Because Ubers are even, what do we do? And the answer, usually, is just suicide a player. Suicide a scout, or suicide your roaming soldier. Try to get the enemy medic to force the pop. If it's a scout that you're suiciding, you're probably not going to get the pop. Although it looks like they did do something there. Uh, there is a backup attempt going on. They did force the pop, actually. So the scout got in there, forced the pop. He hasn't been killed yet. He's still going for damage. And there you go. He finally gets killed. This, this soldier should probably back away. They've lost one player. Oh, no, okay, both Ubers did go in, so they actually Ubered in and then walked back out. They lost a scout, but they should be okay to defend that second point. Hold on to it. Um, yeah, I think they might try to go back in here, but really, when you suicide a scout, what you want to do with that, and both demos go down at the same time, what you want to do with that is bring back a sniper or bring back a spy or something that is going to pick their medic off. <laughs> pick, pick their medic off, which is called a pick, I guess. Anyway, uh, you want to you be able to kill their medic so that you'll have that uber advantage, and so that's what the, the sniper is for. Even sometimes a sniper could just take out the demo man, and that's enough to push on. Um, but it looks like they did not bring a sniper back, so Jesus, 
the Red Scout is just back on Scout, and these Ubers are just about even again. So, can't play Highlander match is uh, going to be standing back here with their their Prolander team right now, except they do have uh, two soldiers. So, it is, it's called Prolander, by the way, because it's it's like the pro version of Highlander with only one of each class, but no, they actually have two soldiers, so it doesn't count because there's two of a class. Um, oh, there you go. They're going to change up to Spy. So, actually, a defensive Spy play because it looks like the Can't Play Highlander team is... Uh, oh, no, they change over to Sniper. Spy again! I don't know, man. It's getting pretty crazy. He right now is disguised, and he's going to try and cloak up before anybody sees him. He'll go downstairs. There will probably be a scout here watching, uh, but he may not pop in here. Oh, this is scary. Zen grabs the ammunition. He sneaks away. He got away with it. The scout doesn't know he's there, but he might have heard something. No, he didn't hear anything. He's going to go for the pick on the scout himself. And he takes him down. Is that going to be enough? That's not really what you want to go for. The thing is, since this is open, he might be able to get away with the second stab. The Uber is just now fading, and he's going for the demo man. He gets him, too! And Jay, who was the medic, got taken down as well. So that was a pretty awesome play right there. But what they need to do now is they need to follow it up. And they, do they have a scout? No, they can't play... Okay, no, now they do. All right, they do. So Zen swapped back over to scout. But that's the thing. He, he was playing spy. He had to switch back to scout. And that means this push is a little bit delayed. The blue team is going to have to stack this point and not lose their medic here. If they lose the medic, then that's probably going to be it for the round. They will have a huge disadvantage. The medic is hiding. But no, he gets killed underneath the ramp. Three players down for the camp play hunter. Now four players down. Point is being captured. And so it was a good play by that spy. It just isn't going to matter because they didn't have a scout to get out and cap that point fast enough. And they weren't playing it safe with their medic. So this uh, heavy is going to try to stop the cap, but he will not be able to. That is round one to soft served. And they played it really well. They came back from that, uh, that spy 2k really, really easily. 2k. Two kill streak, that is. Uh, when somebody says like a 2k or a 3k or 6k, that's uh, it's just telling you how many kills you got in a row. So, uh, it was a pretty awesome spy play, I gotta say. It's just, uh, like I said, they should have followed it up with a little bit more aggressive push out of last. They just weren't quite there fast enough, and then their positioning was not great. So we'll see if they can't make it up right now. The Soldier Scout and Demo are down for the blue team. They are getting some decent kills in here, though. They've taken down the Medic for so chill. It is now Scout versus Scout, and Jesus is going to stand out here with 125 health and start the capture. He's got to deal with a blue Scout coming at him, but he should be able to take him out. Still, yeah, there you go. Scout can be kind of a coin flip, but Jesus had better positioning there. He was ready, he was standing on the point, and his opponent was forced to run at him. Come at me, bro! That's kind of what was happening there. So, uh, th in that case, the attacking scout had a disadvantage. He was trying to find a decent spot. It wasn't much of a disadvantage, but it was just enough. Jesus managed to turn it into his favor. So, a nice little kill by Jesus. Let's just see what happens here, as Rave seems to be the pocket for the moment. He is trying to build that uber with his medic. Uh, and so normally you'll see the pocket is the one who does the uber building, which is why I'm calling him the pocket. I haven't really seen their style of play other than that, but you wouldn't normally see the roamer building, especially because the roamer usually has the gunboats. So let's see, does he? Yes, he does. Look at those metal shoes. Extra crispy replaced the shotgun with the gunboats. So he he only takes about 15 to 20 damage per rocket jump. Insane. Of course, he's giving away a lot of damage potential with the uh, the shotgun. So if he gets in there, he's got to aim his rockets really well. And that is the hallmark of a roamer. Uh, you need your roamer to be able to aim well and jump well and go straight in for the medic. And you also need him not to lag out of a game. That is not what he wanted to see because he definitely saw that medic. And Pot's kind of happy about some kind of an air shot, but now they're calling for a pause. So uh, we might just see one of those here pretty soon. Oh, they're saying, use the console, dummy. But I think uh, by this point, he's probably back in the game. And uh, he's stopped lagging out. Oh, no. Maybe not. There we go. So there was a little bit of warning for them. I didn't get any warning. Um, might have to cut something out of the video there. We'll see. You guys will, of course, get a completely uh, mundane and safe-for-work video. But uh, looking like the push is going pretty well. And Watt's getting some nice kills, taking down Rave. Pocket Soldier, and there goes Extra Crispy as well. So, uh, Team Softster losing the middle point here after they took it with Jesus just a short time ago. 
And now, uh, Synchro, pocket LFT. <laughs> that, wait a minute. No, okay, so he's, he's totally a pocket looking for team right now. He actually, of course, if he's named that, then he actually signed up in ESEA for his team. He confirmed his name for his team is pocket looking for team. That's, uh... Kind of a morale problem right there for the rest of your team. But I'm just kidding. They probably know he's a joke. I would hope. Anyway, uh, Jesus going sniper and taking out Watts. Looks like they did expect a sniper, which makes sense because they saw him and they didn't kill him. So, of course, the sniper's going to be there. Uh, and there goes the Uber right before the detonation. That actually could have been a really powerful detonation. And the medic eating a couple of rockets in spawn, but he's back at... Uh, oh, no. Got taken down somehow. Actually, wow, the right did the medic get taken down in spawn? I think he might have. So can't play Highlander match. Apparently can play a 6v6 match. Yes, that was a complete perversion of the grammar of their team name. I know, I know, but right now it's one to one in this half. And uh, let me tell you, I have not checked the length of this demo, but I fully expect it to go for an entire 60 minutes and possibly an overtime. I don't even know. I didn't see the score actually. So it'll be a nice surprise for me, too. And Synchro taking the jump, uh, letting his roamer go in and try to do some damage first. Now he's going to clean that up. The medic running away and grabbing a health kit. Now these scouts are going to come in and try to pressure, but they are going to take some hits as well. The red team, though, loses their medic. Synchro is going to have to try to run away from a scout, but the pistol comes out. Synchro is dead, and Zen now, one of the only players left for his team. This is a common thing you'll see the players do a lot if they lose... The point, and oh, that soldier didn't see him, but the demo man did. Scouts in on the medic, he's going for the kill. Can he aim it correctly, though? He's not quite hitting the medic enough. He does take down Jay, and Jay was hoping his team would save him so he wouldn't have to pop that Uber. When you think about it, um, that drop right there really was not Jay's fault. That was the rest of his team who couldn't kill the scout. Jay made the right call to hold on to the Uber and his team was not able to back up that call with the kills. But but in that situation, I mean, popping that Uber just wouldn't have done anything for his team except keep the medic alive for a little bit longer. Um, a, a little bit too conservative style of play to have popped that just because of the scout. So a panic pop, I mean, could have saved him, but it wouldn't have saved a lot because his team got the second point anyway. So point is, he dropped the Uber. Not a huge deal. He's still cool in my book. Uh, and now, the blue team is going to try and run him with 100% of their own. Oh, it's a Kritzkrieg! But they missed the shot on Shirt. Or or is it Shart? I don't know. Um, <laughs> didn't I say this was going to be safe for work? So anyway, uh, they do finally take down the Demo Man. They found him hiding beneath that point. And now, Soft Serve going to jump out and try and stop the recapture. Trying to take down the medic for the blue team, but that crits caught them way by surprise. Their roamer there... No, I'm sorry, was that their pocket? No. That was extra crispy. Yeah, that was their roamer. Extra crispy was trying to jump out and stop that. Not gonna happen. And now, you see what the red team is doing. They're actually backing away from the point. They're leaving their scouts here to try and pressure in from this kitchen, but one scout taken down immediately. That kitchen is not always a good idea to use. They have the Uber, though. They are trying to push in, so the scouts maybe were just a little bit too early there. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what happened. The scouts might have been too early for that push because they came in before the Uber. You usually want to pop in first with your soldier and medic. Have them try and deal some damage. Oh, look at the needle kill! Didn't matter in the long run, but sweet. I'm liking to see that. But uh, yeah, at that point, after the Uber seemed to fail and the blue team was pushing back in, I would have liked to see the red team, uh, especially the medic, get out of there. And now, can't play Highlander match going to be taking the second point, and they are going to have a nice uber advantage, so they may very well, especially with this Kritzkrieg, be able to push in and secure victory on that last point. The soldier jumping in, and he's going to go for the medic. Think, though, good medic himself. In fact, I know I've seen him hanging around the tf2.pug.na channel. I don't know if I've ever actually seen him play. He's, he seems to just be an idler in that channel, but you know what? I know he's a good medic. I've seen him before. So, uh, he's gonna sneak his team in underneath, pop that Kritzkrieg as they walk out there with the Demo Man, and he's gonna try and get his Demo Man to get some kills here. Pot. Pot is what I want to watch. Here it goes. 
Going for the medic up there, but he can't see him. Trying to get a blind dead on that med is going to be tough. Okay, going for air shots. On the, well, not quite air shots, but he's going for shots on the demo man. Misses those, so he finally takes a demo down. And that demo was an important kill, but there is still a heavy. Okay, so uh, the heavy Vic is now dead as well. And this is uh, some decent aggression from the blue team. Wow. <laughs> Jesus actually had a lot of health there. But Synchro the Pocket took him down just in time for them to secure the point. It is 2-1. to one. Can't play HL match leading right now, as you can see by that little, uh, little text down there. It's a wonderful text machine. And we do see the soldiers, one of whom is doing that equalizer rollout, so he's going to get uh, that is Synchro. He's going to get that full 300 buff coming out here very quickly. And Red Soldier's jumping first. Looks like Red has some positioning advantage. They are probably going to take down Fink once again. Fink is uh, stuck in this valley. A scout coming in to the side. Doesn't manage to get him yet, but there's a lot of spam coming in as well. Those rollers are so terrifying. Jesus. I was going to say Jesus. I'm going to call him Jesus, though. Oh, man, did not manage to get the medic. I'm sorry. He took him down to like four health, and there you go, Fink dropping a crit. Not a huge deal. Uh, he you know, he kind of wishes he would have popped it, but popping it would not have saved him from all the sticky bomb damage that was coming in. And now, here's the funny thing. The point has not been captured yet. So what the team with the medic can do is they can just play the heals, which is kind of what they're doing right now. And by, by play the heals, I mean they've got heals, and their opponents do not even have a medic. They can just deal chip damage, retreat, have their medic heal them up, and then walk right back out and deal some more chip damage. Uh, and the more damage they do, the less aggressive their opponents can be. Their medic just took a hit from something, and they're going to have a bunch of players bombing in to try and take him out now. That's uh, XXING? Wait, oh, Zing. I'm sorry, no, that's Xing. Okay, or Crossing. Whoa, oh, maybe Crossing is what he should be called. Um, I don't know. But Crossing just got taken out. I think he was trying to take down the medic, and it was not going to happen. So, Soft Served is on the warpath right now. They've got a player advantage. They need to be pushing in. Uh, and really, right now, it looks like they are doing that. Just maybe checking for some traps or whatever. And nice little jump there by Extra Crispy. He has practiced that. Using... <laughs> Honestly, you should be able to shoot through that. That is a chain link fence. But he didn't take any damage. <laughs> TF2, you're crazy. Val's crazy. Although, if you guys are Redditors at all, uh, I saw an article on Reddit Gaming today that showed, uh, there, there's just been some really positive stuff about Gabe Newell recently, and what an awesome boss he must be, like, treating his entire company to, uh, vacation in Hawaii, and, uh, you know, if a guy, like, back in 2004, I think the story is, um, one of the guys, I don't remember his name, said he had some sort of very debilitating disease, maybe cancer, and he had to fight it, so he was gonna, he was gonna resign, and, uh, Gabe refused his resignation, he just said, no, you can't resign, Instead, your entire job description is to get well. You are going to stay on our payroll, and you are going to stay on our insurance plan, and you are going to get well, and that is your only job. That is the kind of boss that you really want. So anyway, uh, looks like right now there's actually a bat cap going on as the Ubers are popped and fading. A scout comes in, but he is not going to be able to stop that heavy from blocking the points. Now, can the red team stop the bat cap? It looks like they have with Shirt So Chill and his medic holding on for the moment. They need to be watching very carefully to see if a scout sneaks out there, but it looks like Watts, the scout, uh, let's see what happens here. Ooh! Oh! Interesting. Wait, what? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps swapping classes. They keep swapping classes and making me think they're not going to go spy, and then I'm sad. And then I'm happy again, because they're spy again. Um, I was going to say Watts might go out there and try another back cap, but it looks like they're watching for it now. So, extra crispy... Which reminds me of that old Red Alert game. Extra crispy. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe I'm just old. Uh, he, he's going to be sneaking out here, though, pretty soon. There you go. He needs to grab some metal for his watch. And he might actually decloak too early. I think he's realized that. Wow. <laughs> he turned back at just the right time there. And is going to grab some more metal and decide, okay, maybe it would be a good idea to go in with full cloak this time. I guess... I suppose. So here we go. Now he is going to have that full cloak to sneak all the way behind. I wonder why he didn't use the cloak and dagger. Maybe he just thought that he wasn't going to get away with it. Like, maybe there's just going to be too much spam and he would have trouble moving. But there you go. He got around behind. Uh, the, the, what, huh? Why would he not use the knife? 
I don't know. <laughs> so that was uh, that was a little anticlimactic. He he played it beautifully, getting behind his opponents, and then he just went for the revolver. I don't know if you realize he didn't even have the ambassador out, but uh, there is a heavy getting kind of far forward. Oh no, okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. Heavy's playing exactly where he needs to play, and he's even doing a little bit of a dance with his medic. Oh, that is cute. Uh, whoa. What was going on there? Was that... What was that? Were those pills? I don't know. <laughs> I thought somebody was actually shooting at them. But anyway, here comes the soldier going for the the uh, focus on the heavy, but the heavy gets saved. That is a good medic play right there. Keeping all of his players alive for the defense instead of letting one or two of them fall and then popping the uber afterwards. Very good play to say, nope, gotta keep that heavy alive because he is gonna keep our defense alive because everybody else has been focusing him. And now, the rest of the blue team is going to start charging forward. They've taken down the demo. It looks like a lot of damage in on this soldier who could end up getting taken down by the scout by the demo. There you go. Watts finishing him off. And uh, Pot's gonna start walking out from below. Sees the scout. I didn't see that scout, so Pot has an eagle eye going on here. And instead of trying to go for the capture, he's going to try and go for a couple more uh, sticky bomb hits, which is not a bad idea. Deal some good damage to your retreating opponents, but he didn't manage to get any kills out of it. Now he will want to reload and make sure they get ready for the next push. Even grabbing some ammunition. So right now it is... Soft served on the middle point. They are around down at the moment. And I think they've got about 14 minutes to go. I'm, that's just a wild guess, but usually I'm fairly accurate with those. Just call me a time wizard. And uh, i got to say, there's plenty of time for them to get around at any rate. But right now they're getting pushed with an uber. They, lost, they have, in fact, lost a heavy that they just had lying around, and now there goes Jesus as well, so this uber not saving all the players that it could. In fact, all the players aren't getting out of the way of the blue uber right in time, and they lose Jay. They've taken out a couple players in exchange, but uh, they have not taken out the medic, and I would expect to see, actually, Rave maybe... Well, no, he's at 105 health. I was going to say he might set up uh, for a bomb and try to go for the medic, but I, I think he realized that was not going to be a good idea. And now Scout sneaking in to try and get the kill, but nice stickies from Shirt. And Jesus is going to go sniper, so this is sort of a desperation play, but they're going to see if they can't take their opponents by surprise, get the medic, or some sort of interesting pick, because they need it if they want to defend. And now, uh-oh, <laughs> what? He just shot between that soldier's legs to take down the demo man. And he didn't die. I thought he was going to die there. So that was a hugely beneficial pick. That means uh, the... <laughs> even Pot's going, yeah, that was just a nice shot, man. Nice shot. So uh, it does look like Team Soft served. Because they don't have to push into a demo man right now, uh, they could have gone for it. Well, their opponents had 100%. Really what they should have done was sent one soldier in maybe just to try and go for the force pop on the enemy medic forced them to use their uber in a weird place so they couldn't use it to push. Now they are going to have even ubers, but they're going to be kind of stalemated for a little while. Well, maybe not. They've still got a pretty awesome sniper. <laughs> so they take down a scout, and they are going to try and push off the scout. Pushing off a scout pick is a lot harder than pushing off a demo man pick, because uh, if they don't have a demo man, there aren't going to be sticky traps. If they have a demo man, well, you know, there are going to be sticky traps. They lose uh, extra crispy, so it looks like he was going in and trying to force an early pop, but then actually they went in at the same time anyway. Well, maybe not quite the same time. Oh, so their uber does last a little bit longer longer than the blue teams, and I like that, but what I don't like is that, wait, what's going on, okay, <laughs> so Jay goes down, they don't finish off Think, and Think is now up to about a 40%, he's going to have a huge uber advantage, just huge, ridiculous, and this round could be very close to over. Yeah, I don't think that soft serve can take down the medic, so this is going to be probably the round. And so let's see, we've got Synchro just trying to jump to the rest of his team. Pot hanging out up here, and they are building an uber on a scout right now. A nice way to do it, because you're guaranteed to build at that maximum rate as long as he's hurting himself with a basher, and he's below that maximum health. And these scouts aren't going to kill themselves. I mean, they do it in pickup games because it's hilarious, but <laughs> they're going to kill themselves in a game like this. I've never seen that happen. I just wanted to let Pot finish that little line there, because that's a hilarious little line of dialogue. Pretty much everything the Demo Man says, 100% comedy. 
And so they go in with an Uber. There's a heavy here. He is going to die. There he goes. Nice kill, actually, by Zen to take him down. And not a lot that the blue or the red team, I'm sorry, can do. They've lost their demo as well, so they won't be able to put sticky bombs in the point, which means they have to go stand on it just to stop the capture. And that is going to cause them to die. Oh! An Uber saw by Jay to save the point, but Pot's doing the right thing. He's just gonna start trying to camp the doors a little bit here. As soon as that Uber fades, that is go oh, that's gonna be it. There you go. That is the half. And we are live in the second half. And ESCA automatically does a lot of stuff, so these guys are always going to switch teams just because of the configuration of the server. They have switched teams as a result. So, you do see that now the uh, Highlander team... <laughs> oh, nice little jump there, Zing, or Crossing. But, uh, no, they are now in red, and of course their opponents, Soft Served, are in blue. Soft Served down 3-1. to one. Uh, But they've gotten a couple of picks here. They've taken down a soldier and a scout. I was going to say demo man, but that was wrong. We're watching a demo man right now. They have taken down a soldier and a scout, and they're pushing their opponents back. They've lost both their soldiers, though, and this is interesting. They've got a positioning advantage over the choke points, and so they are going to cap mid. Normally, when you lose both your soldiers and the enemy has a medic, uh, the opponents are going to get a big positioning advantage over the middle point because it is such a soldier playground with all those jump positions. But uh, not in this case. Looked like the can't play Highlander match team was sort of stuck on the low ground and had to retreat. So losing their soldiers didn't matter. Soft served. Gonna bring shirt forward, and they're just gonna slow push this. They don't want to have to pop their Uber before their opponents do. And they've spotted the medic, but they're not really doing a lot of damage to him right now. And they've gotten two kills, so sort of worth it. Don't know where those kills were exactly on the flank somewhere. Oh, and the Uber not popped? Or was it popped early and then it was over? I didn't even tell, but regardless, Jay's down. In fact, most of the soft serve team is down. They are getting a cap with Vic, though. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so the um, Can't Play Highlander match team made a grievous error. They actually got a bunch of kills and just decided to push on it and didn't get enough kills. So they uh, they saw the back cap attempt, it didn't respond in time, and Vic got that capture. That is going to mean that Soft Served has another shot here. They might be able to get back in to this game, bring it up to 2-3. to three. So we all hope. And this medic doing his medic dance right now, Fink is, uh, looks like he has that config where he you, you never stop moving. So, like, normally, uh, I don't know what to call it exactly, but there, normally, if you hold down the A key to move, you know, to strafe left, and then you hold down the D key to strafe right, you stand still if you're holding them both down at the same time. But you can you can make a configuration, or you can just download one, uh, so that if you hold down A, and while you're holding down A, you press D, it just moves you to the right, or vice versa. So whichever one is the last one that you pressed is the one that's active. It's kind of neat, because that way you just never stop moving, and it makes you harder to hit for snipers and all that wonderful stuff. And there is a defensive spy here for Can't Play a Highlander match. And again, no Cloak and Dagger, so I'm wondering if maybe it's just not allowed in ESEA this season, which would confuse me. They've spotted him. He goes for a stair stab, but Vic uh, is wise to his ways, and he takes him out. So that's a player pick right now. I would push in if I were so chill. And it looks like that's what they want to do. Uh, another seven seconds, though, and their opponents will have a spawn. They do pop the Uber now. Shirt, oh, could have taken a lot of damage there. He does, in fact, take a lot of damage. So, really, the medic probably should have, you know, kept him popped through as well. But the thing is, uh, they had to force their opponents to pop Uber. So, uh, it's kind of iffy. Kind of iffy. Anyway, that's going to be Team So Chill for now, having to drop back a little bit and keep their players alive. They lose a shirt. It's a pretty big deal. Uh, the red team is going to push on that. Although, Vic doing his best to take down Crossing? Xing? Uh, Xing took down Rave, so that's going to be both of the... Uh, I think, yeah, it's going to be both of the Roamers. The Roaming Soldiers is the word I was looking for. Both of them down for a little while. Not for very long, though. And Jay's just going to fake an Uber call. We've got Watts as an, a heavy actually still standing back on the point. 
which means that his team is only five strong trying to push on to the second point. That is a difficult position to be in. They've got an Uber, so I think he goes ahead and pops it to keep his players alive. They're going to try and force their opponents, and they have done just that, but now their demo man's way out of position, and he gets taken down, lying in a pool of something disgusting, I'm sure. Think. Whew, I took a little bit of damage there, but he is going to be okay for a little while. Oh, look at that. Synchro playing beautifully. Saves his medic like it was just so easy. So easy. <laughs> That's how you want to play pocket. When that medic calls, he sees a scout coming at your flank. That soldier better have a rocket there before you even open your mouth. And uh, is that not a pause? You know what? It just might be. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, not sure who caused that pause, but that was a pretty crazy long one, so my apologies for missing like a second or two of the action. But you know what? Not a lot of crazy stuff happened. It was pretty much just um, red team going down a man and having to drop back to the last point again. Plus, Jesus, the ultimate sniper. I have nothing else to say to that. He's pretty much just going to walk in here and try to snipe somebody. And is it going to work? He does take a shot at the heavy, but only 50 damage done means that that was not a headshot at all. So, Jesus, you gotta work on your, your headshots, buddy. Compadre. Ha, <laughs> Spanish. Oh, Uber forced for the red team. Looks like maybe that bomb by Extra Crispy finally did its job. And he did force an Uber pop early out of the red team. Not a good position to be in when you already have a one player disadvantage because one of your players is gone. Uh, and now they have to hold against an Uber. Unlikely, but it seems that... Oh, no, they lost their demo man. So they kept their, their heavy and their medic hanging out over where they couldn't take any damage from that Uber. So they've got a couple players here that could hold this off for a little while. They take down Jay with the heavy, uh, but he's got to watch it above him because right now there's a blue soldier up there who could just completely destroy everybody, and he does take him down with a shotgun. There's still a soldier there, but oh, look at that headshot. It is just going to be Xing, and he cannot get out there fast enough to stop it because he just respawned. So... Oh, Vic. The humiliation round. They're kind of asking, uh, is he, <laughs> is he coming back here? Because, uh, oh, apparently he can't come back. Um, so, it's 3-2. to two. Soft served is down, but they have a player advantage, and I think that's going to last the rest of the game here. Uh, that's pretty crazy. So, can't play Highlander match. He's going to have trouble, because apparently one of their players couldn't play, because Highlander match? I don't even know. Um, no, it's not the reason. It's a joke, guys. That wasn't really the reason. And they do lose the middle point, kind of as expected. They've only got five players here. <laughs> and Soft Served even, even asking the question that we all want to know. Well, that's not nice, Watts. That is just not nice. And you know he's going to see this video now. So... <laughs> Uh, oh, the client. Okay, they're saying the client is kicking him, so he actually can't get back in. It's not just because he has a Highlander match, everybody. It's just because of the ESEA 6v6 client. So, uh, I don't actually know how to fix that. I've heard sometimes restarting your client or whatever will fix it, but I don't know. I've never used the client, so I honestly have no idea. And that is not a good thing, because of course now they're playing a man down. They've got Zen using the Widowmaker. And wait, did I see him with... Okay, I didn't think the Gunslinger was allowed, but I thought I saw him with it for just a second there. He is setting up a level 1 sentry, and that's gonna... Hmm. If nothing else, that'll scare people away. Dispenser now as well, so his medic will have somewhere to just stand and collect health if he ever takes any chip damage. Also, it will uh, provide him with just a little bit of metal he can walk back and grab to build his sentry. Should be some metal popping up right here for him, though. There he goes build that up to level 2. And level 2 is, is about all you need out of it. Level 3 will give you more health for the sentry and make it harder to kill, so yeah, it's, it's nice to have. But the extra rocket that comes out of there, um, it's probably not going to hit anybody who's jumped at it. And there goes the sentry. So, oops. Let's just hate that as an engineer. Whenever you leave your sentry, you pretty much just lose it. And here comes the Uber. The uh, Red Medic actually got caught out there. I don't think he meant to pop the Uber that early, but you know what? Oh, Xing missed that air shot somehow. I thought he was going to get it. There you go, though. He does help finish off Rave. Vix down as well. So the defending team here, the red team, with five players, they're going to hold on to it for a little while. Uh, one thing that just goes to show is how hard 
it is to push this point. It really is quite a difficult thing. Why would you jump onto a roller? I don't know, but it happened. And there goes the blue medic. So, red held on. They did just pop an Uber to do it, though. Um, and I don't... Oh, I didn't see what Fink did there. They're saying, nice, he may have gotten, like, an Uber saw. I don't know. But he's going to have an Uber advantage now, so at least he'll be able to hold on last for a little while. Sorry, Fink. I wish I'd seen that. He's a good medic, though. We all know that. And Synchro going to be... Hmm. Thought he was going to be building, but looks like he's not for the moment. There you go. He'll probably start now. <laughs> Oh, man. Rave wants this to be a fair fight. That's what he wants. Because, you know, when you, when you... It's always nice to get a good record. But, uh... You, you know that if you get your record based off a game where you only won because your opponents were down a man, that eh, doesn't feel very good. So, I mean, not that they won't take the win, but you'd much rather play a 6 versus 6 game. Most of the time. Most of the time. And Zen, gonna go sniper just to try and hold this off. Oh, hello. Free kill. Wonderful. I <laughs> don't know why Rave was sitting there. He might have been typing. Uh, but they're asking, what are the odds right now? And, uh... <laughs> seems like our red team's thinking zero, so maybe, uh... Maybe Blue is just kind of waiting. Maybe they're waiting to uh, play a fair fight here. And it seems like they're like, well, okay... I don't know. Oh, he should be able to shoot through that chain link fence. Come on. This is a high caliber bullet right here. Chain link fences will not stop it or even deflect it at that range. Whatever. It's a it's it's a valve chain link fence built out of special dwarven steel that will never bend or deflect or any I don't know. Valve, you guys are weird. That's all I have to say about that. And he's... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, cute. He, he was like, oh, I was kind of hoping they were uh, they were still standing back where they were, but no, a soldier just kind of walked right out of that door at me, and we didn't even have any sticky traps to deal with it. So where's Blue going to push? That is the only question now, because they kind of need to. They've got a man advantage, and they're going to have it for the rest of the game, so they pretty much can be, you know, as aggressive as they want to. And uh, they kind of need to, because it's 2-3 right now, and they're losing. So get in there, take the point. Pretty much what we all want to think, and it looks like, oh, Think had to pop the Uber. So that is an Uber advantage to the blue team. They might even wait for Extra Crispy to get back up and join the team before they push it. Ooh, whoa, whoa, okay. So that was a little bit of damage there, but uh, no, they're just going to push in now, and oh, it's a Kritzkrieg. That is why they forced the pop early. Oh, can't hit the Medic, and the Demo Man there for our red team actually doing a heck of a lot of damage. Not a single kill on this so far. Um, <laughs> and some of that is due to the defensive skill of the HLX420X team. But also, some of that was due to just kind of a poor push. Uh, you know, they walked in with a little bit of damage, couldn't really aim their stickies properly, and there you go. <laughs> what? I don't even get that. Anyway, that was a good push out by, uh, by the Can't Play Highlander match team. They did manage to get that point. They can't hold on to it, though. And so even though they've got... We were pretty close to done. They didn't want to push out there and take it right away and you know, risk losing their medic and losing the round. So they are just going to drop back. Oh, losing the demo is not good, though. Watts getting the drop on a scout here. But that scout is overhealed. Oof. And there is an Uber. They're pushing with it, but it is going to be too late. And looks like the pocket kind of decides, yeah, we can't push into that. So they've fallen back. And that does mean they will be on their last point for a little while longer. Soft served. So they're going to be pushing fairly soon. Here they come. And that is a regular Uber, my friends. So they're going to be staying alive for quite a little, little while here. Uh, they go for the medic. Can't get him yet. Jay is at low health, but he... Oh, I'm sorry, Think is at low health, but he gets away, gets back in there. Uh, oh, walked out, took another rocket, but he needs to keep his soldiers healed, so he is staying alive for a little while. Uh, blue, blue Medic, they're maybe going for an Uber saw? I don't know, but that is a complete wipeout once again for the soft-served team. And once again, HLX420X popping out here and capturing their second point. Can they follow it up this time? This would be pretty crazy if they could because 5 versus 6 is not an easy position to play from, but they've got a huge uber advantage. They 
They can push this pretty much right now if they want to. And it looks like they're thinking about it. So that's going to be them pushing out. Oh, they take down Vic. I'm not sure if they realized they were going to do that. Um, Xing kind of hoping he can sticky jump here, but it seems like that is not the answer for their problems. They're just getting kills without even having to pop. There you go. They finally popped the Uber. And taking a bit of damage. Oh, the Uber not quite protecting everyone. So they took a couple losses there, but it's three versus three right now. Deceptive for the blue team. They think they've got an advantage here, but they don't have the Uber yet. They've lost the middle point, and now they're losing players. Shirt taking a lot of hits here. He, oh, get away from that. Okay. Shirt almost died there, too. So they, now they've got the Uber. Now they can afford to be a little more aggressive. Uh, their aggression was a bit ill-timed for being a team that is so chill. They didn't seem all that chill for that push. So uh, it is, yeah, it's 6 versus 5. And, yeah, you know, points-wise, these guys seem mostly even. You know, maybe the HLX420X team has a little bit more points per player. But on the whole, this is an even game, and it's looking pretty crazy right now. Uh, what is happening? Blue team going to be trying to push into this, but they have let their opponents get an Uber. And can they even capture this point? I... Here comes... No, they can't, because here comes the Red Uber now. It's going to stop this. They have Uber to scout. They're trying to use him just to uh, finish off a couple kills here. Rave is still up here, though, and the other soldier bombing in. I don't think they realize Rave is here. So... Okay, so Rave could have gotten an ambush there if his opponents had actually stayed in position, which they did not. But now, doing crazy damage. So Soft Served, trying to capture this point back. I don't think they're going to be able to do it. And a blue scout here, trying to retreat away, but Vic... Oh, just chill enough to walk onto a pipe and die. Our control point has been captured. And there you go. That's going to be the team with five players pushing and winning the fourth point from their perspective. They, they're thinking about pushing last, too. They've got an uber advantage, but they lost. Oh, are you kidding me? That is painful to see. A soldier being healed. <laughs> Disgrace to the uniform, indeed. Being healed by his medic and still dying to those meat shots. Oh, just gotta hate that. So, it's gonna be a big uber advantage for the red team. All their players are up. It is 5 versus 5 right now. There is a heavy on this last point, though. They've got an uber. They're gonna use it. Didn't take down that scout, so he'll go and grab that. And they haven't taken out a lot of players here. This, this push could fail very quickly. They've lost quite a few players. Oh, but they get the capture! What? Right before this demo man could get those kills, they capped the point. And my voice got higher than I think it has ever gotten in a video before. So, uh, I bet you didn't know I had that kind of vocal range. But I do. Wow, so it's now 4-2. to two. Can't play HL match. Winning around 5 versus 6. It is still 5 versus 6, and I would I would expect Soft Served to kind of get their act together. And I mean they they should have no trouble winning the mid fight because it's it's everybody practices the mid fights like a million times. And there you go, get a bunch of kills. Trying to clean up now. Vic's gonna sneak around. He was thinking he was behind them, but looks like they actually took the lower route, so they got away. Think, uh, wisely thinking of the right way to go. <laughs> oh, man, I bet you couldn't have thought of that pun, could you? Anyway, um, no, he definitely made the right call there on which way to retreat, because otherwise they would have run into a scout from behind and died. And now they are trying to keep that heavy healed up as much as possible while making sure the rest of the players have a bit of an overheal, but I... Th oh, they just barely held on to this with an uber of their own. The blue team, though, they've only lost one player. They could stay in. Okay, now they've lost Jay. But yeah, they could actually still stay in here and get some kills. The scout's doing exactly that. Uh, not taking anybody down yet, but there goes the heavy now. Two scouts aiming meat shots at you is going to get you killed, and that's soft served. Taken around the way they should have. It's 4-3, to three, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back in the game. Pot just now trying to join once again. We'll see if he can't get in there and give them back their normal main demo man, because of course right now Xing, who is supposed to be their roaming soldier, actually playing the demo. He's not doing a bad job of it either. Um, but it looks like he's maybe, maybe if... Oh. That sentence that sentence went about the direction of a train wreck. Um, but no, it looks like he got a little bit outplayed by Shirt on mid. He took some damage there from Shirt. Shirt took no damage in response. So, uh... You know, that just comes down to what you practice, right? And Watts is on the sniper. 
Pot not back in the game yet, actually, even though it looked like he joined, he hasn't joined the team. Watts going for the shot, can't hit that soldier. Oh, he's... <laughs> sees the medic here, takes him down with the headshot, and that is going to be a big advantage now for the Can't Play Highlander match team. Red should be able to push forward very shortly if they aren't doing it already. Although Synchro is doing some weird stuff here, trying to follow the medic around instead of the medic following him. Don't know what's up with that, but it doesn't matter too much. They're getting out here. Uh, they're oh, okay. They're gonna have to deal with back cap, but not really. You know, the back caps only work if somebody tries to stop the capture on mid, and Jesus was not able to do that. Pot just got assigned to a team. And so he is going to play Soldier probably for this round. Oh, no! Extra crispy! Making some crispy bacon strips out of that medic. He was actually hiding... Let's see if I can't zoom out and do that. He was hiding up on top of this little girder thing here. You can actually... Because of the way uh, clipping to the ground works in the Source engine, you can just be standing on the thinnest of edges, and it still counts as standing on the floor. So he was standing up there and just waiting in a perch. Now that's a common hiding spot, so normally teams will check for it, but it looks like these guys were not experienced enough to think of doing that, and they lost their medic and lost their uber advantage. And they are going to lose the middle point as well. Having dropped away from these choke points means they can't get back through them now. They are being spammed out. So, Soft Served could bring this to a tie game. Which would be fun to see. Definitely fun to see. Because what they're proving here, if they can win this round, is, hey, come on, guys. Just because we won a couple... You know, actually, did they win a couple? I think they only won one round. Um, 6v5. But now they're proving, nope, we can do this 6v6 too. So let's get out here and do just that. The, uh, the play style here... It does seem like they're relying a little bit more on some surprise action, like, you know, forcing the enemy medic to drop in certain cases, but that is okay, and they are going to sneak in now with the Uber. Try to take down Think. Nope, Think built his Uber up, and oh, there's a scout behind right where he needs to be to try and play the hammer and anvil strategy. Scout being that uh, anvil, and the massive Uber and soldier combo being the hammer in this case, jumping in and trying to deal a bunch of damage, but it didn't quite work out that way. And now Soft Served could push last point. Could do it. They could. Extra Crispy. Oh, what are, you, are you kidding me? He didn't even need to do that because Enemy Medic did not have an Uber. He didn't get the kill on Think. 17 health left on that guy. Whew. But he went back and hit the cabinet, so everything is okay. Um, although, you know, when you think about it, that really wasn't such a huge deal losing one soldier just because your opponents aren't going to push out and you're going to have Ubers at the same time anyway so what loss is it? Not really any loss at all um, and Jesus just jumped in and suicided but that could be because he wants to switch to Sniper or he could just try and make me look like a fool and stay scout which is what he did and in fact there is a Sniper Watts for the red team he looks like he did some damage but didn't manage to get a headshot so no kill uh, Blue is now in with the Uber. They haven't forced the pop out of red yet. There you go. And are now backing out. They've lost shirt, though. Scouts are going to have to run away from this. And, oh, gets juggled there. So the defense on last point of the Can't Play Highlander match team is looking strong. And you got to remember, they defended five on six as well. So they definitely know how to defend this last point. Oh, they take down Jay. That is going to be Xing the roaming soldier doing exactly what he meant to do. Oh, look, it's pause. Oops. Well, we didn't miss anything. Oh, come on. Guys. So, uh, want to watch a pause? I mean, we could go, like, check their hats out. Wait, I can't even move my mouse. What is going on? Anyway, okay, that's scary. Uh, that's one of the Halloween set things. Uh, ooh. Cute. Eh. Seen better. We've got uh, a normal hat. Of course, we've seen Think before in his autolaryngologist's mirror. Yes, I can pronounce that valve. Gah. Okay. Um, and that, what is this one called? I don't remember what this one's called, but it's got the little smokes and the, uh, uh, oh. Um, don't know what this one is either, but I think this is an all-class hat, isn't it? And then, uh, yeah. All right, we're, we're pretty much done with this, so I guess we'll come back after the pause. Yep. After that pause, everybody's going to be skating around like little ice skaters. It's the cutest thing. 
Okay, so their mid was in the bathroom, and what is going on with my camera? Well, um, I like watching walls, but sometimes I like watching TF2 as well. So as boring as some of my tastes are, hopefully they aren't all that way. Hey, Zeus, though. This is so weird. His... I think his sniper dot is where he's actually aiming, and what we're seeing here is sort of just an artifact of, like, it being an STV demo, and that's weird. Um... Ooh, uh, ooh. He kind of sees who he wants to shoot at, but he's not quite... His reflexes are just off to snuff today. Maybe he's having a bad day on it or whatever. Uh, ooh, uh, Medic does pop the Uber, and they might still lose their demo. No, he has been, I think, Uber flashed. They take down Vic, but that's the only kill they got. Oh no, they take down Jesus as well. And uh, Extra Crispy finds a demo who I think just walked in there. I didn't realize he was there, so Pot, not his best moment. And now soft served. I mean, they've lost the point. Um, and you you might ask yourself, well, they've wait, they've got a hundred percent Uber. Why don't they just push back in? And the answer is uh, because they didn't have enough damage classes. If you've got four players up, then you really only have three players who are going to be able to deal damage. And so if you just Uber two of them in, you might get one kill or something like that. But the rest of the enemy team is going to get away from you. And so after the Uber's over, what then? Well, you can't do a heck of a lot, usually. I mean, unless you're, like, classic mix-up or something. Oh. Which, by the way, the teams have totally changed rosters now, so you should definitely go check out the new rosters. I haven't done any of the videos myself yet for invite, but I do hope to. Anyway, a uh, nice little Uber Force there. And think going for the Uber Saw hit doesn't manage to get it, which is too bad. Love seeing those Uber Saws. Um, and, oh, this is turning the way of Soft Served very heavily right now, as they just completely walloped their opponents. So, so chill. Gotta get out here and capture this point. And this should tie it up. They're gonna have a big Uber advantage going into last. So I am pretty dang sure, ladies and gentlemen, that we are going to see a tie game in the last couple of minutes. Will it go to overtime? Let's find out. Pretty soon, we will know. And Shirt is going to be... I think it's Shirt. Anyway. Well, we've been over this. So he starts sneaking in, trying to deal just a little bit of spam damage. His team has Uber, though, so they need to push in with this fairly soon. They don't want to give their opponents an Uber. D guys, don't give your opponents an Uber. Go! Go! Just go! There you go. And they are jumping in now. Gonna have to focus down the Heavy, who actually managed to jump into spawn and change classes immediately. I like that play, but they take down the demo nonetheless. Jesus over here at the side, trying to hit this soldier. He loses his life in the process. They didn't get the Medic, only player they got was that demo, and so they could have maybe tried to put some pressure on the point. In fact, once they took the demo down, they probably should have, but I didn't see the whole thing. Maybe they were, and they just weren't able to get over there. Uh, nonetheless, that's going to mean an uber advantage for their opponents that can't be used, because if they tried to push out with it, they would be at a severe risk of just one scout sneaking around and back having and ending the round. They don't want that, so still 4-3 to three right now, and... The HL match team, I mean, they would rather just run the clock out at this point. I don't know how much time is actually left in the game, though. Uh, because these pauses are throwing off my time wizardry. So, uh, I could recast my spell. But, you know, it, it takes a while to do, and it, it requires, like, newt tails. And I'm all fresh out of newt tails, guys. I don't have any more. Uh, so that's pretty much going to mean that... Ooh, the uber was popped there. I think, once again, they actually forced the pop. I'm not sure who did it. Might have been Shirt, considering he's dead, but Esther Crispy's now down as well, so it might have been him. Um, and that's going to be... Oh, no, actually, they popped him. Whenever. Okay, I'm stupid. I just missed it. So we totally missed an entire push there. Um, my loyal viewers, you you, <laughs> you know. You know I'm terrible at this. But uh, try nonetheless. And, oh, that is that's actually really scary. That right there. Oh, it's a water tank. But that's that's disgusting water. Okay, I was thinking it was like an explosive barrel, and of course they don't actually have those in TF2, at least not on 6v6 maps that I've ever seen. But uh, I was thinking it was like an explosive barrel or something, and just just imagining, you know, what would happen. You know what would happen. So they've got the heavy, they've got the spy, who is totally behind the team. We didn't even get to see how he got back there. Oh, he goes for the medic, though. Wrong decision. Because the medic was actually in a spot such that, I mean, as he turned that corner, it was obvious what was happening. It was just like, nobody's going to turn to face me. Like, come on. Come on. It's obviously a spy. And so they called it out correctly. 
Uh, they've now taken down two players. Soft serve, you're going to push in on that. And they're doing a pretty good job. They do force the Uber just now. And we'll have to avoid that for a little while. While they get their players back up and ready to fight. Oh, just missed the air shot. Oh, actually, I was thinking they might have this, but... Well, they're going to have an Uber advantage now because they forced their enemies to pop so much later. So that's the advantage they're going to have going into the next push. As long as they can keep their opponents from pushing out into them, which should be fairly easy, it would not be a good idea right now for the HLTF2 team to push any farther. Sorry, not HLTF2. That's a different group altogether, I think. Possibly. Probably. No, but the HL match team, they're trying to build that as fast as possible, and it is going to keep them at a 40% advantage. they got to push with this immediately, though. If they don't push, they're, they're giving up the, the only push advantage they have. There they go. They are going to sneak in through that right-hand side, or try to. Pop the Uber, you guys. Come on. You're a little bit too late here. Now they're, oh, not quite too late. Doing a lot of damage all over the place. Not focusing any one player, but they do take it on Think right before he gets the Uber. Ready to go. And, oh, everybody on the HL team dying. That's a wipe. It's tied. Four to four. And Pot's just like, come on, guys. What, what's going on here? What is going on? I'll tell you what's going on. My time wizard respell. Starting to get back intact. 13 seconds left. We're going into overtime, ladies and gentlemen. They're calling GG, but I'm pretty sure there's overtime. Please let there be overtime. I would hate for that to be GG. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Yes over time. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope you are, because uh, it's been a while since I have seen an ESEA overtime game. In fact, it's been s since last season, and that has got to be a text bind. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Is one of these players either Mustard Overlord or UNF? I hope one of them is UNF, and I just didn't know that. But who knows? Maybe he's just calling out Mustard Overlord for saying something trash talky? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, everything comes down to this mid fight here because very rarely will you see a team lose a mid fight and then one around. I, I guess it's happened though. Um, but the mid fight is going to matter significantly because whichever team loses is at a pretty big disadvantage. And do you remember, since it's 4 to 4 and these teams play to 5, whoever wins this round wins the game. And right now. It's looking like that may very well be Sochil, Team Soft Served, who... They were the ones who played with a 6v5. They had the six players, I think. And they still ended up losing a round. But they are going to prove that they can win in a 6 versus 6 situation here. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was... Was pot the drop. So here comes the Uber right now, and this could be a very nice, quick anti climb Oh, there you go, nice. Just barely getting that Uber up in time. It was think, and they keep their heavy alive. So at the very least, they are going to hold on for a little while longer, but they will be stuck on their last point, barring any sort of spy shenanigans. And uh, they're actually still taking a lot of damage. So they got to be careful not to lose any players in this. Watts getting really far forward. Not something you usually see happen. Just got to be careful about taking too many hits, but uh, it'll be okay for now. He definitely will. Oh, Watts. Pulling out that shotgun. You're not a scout. You're... What are we doing? Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> oh, it's like the worst cast I've ever done. Why are you still watching? You shouldn't be watching this. Go watch Archer. Archer's a great show. Go browse Reddit or something. Oh, man. Zen does manage to get a nice shot off on Jay, which is a huge deal. They're going to have an uber advantage now. They could push on that. But they're not. Hmm. Which raises the question, why did they bring the sniper out to get that kill at all? I mean, it's going to slow the game down, but if they're not going to push on it, did it matter? Because their opponents are just going to get another Uber. Try to oh, there they go. Yeah, they are pushing on it. It just took them a while. Okay. Okay. I, I lower my objections. The flag is down. But be careful. I think it does take a hit from that soldier. And actually, if he had taken one more hit, he would have died. So he popped that Uber right at the right time. Got to be careful with those. Got to be very careful with those. Because if you drop them, they are very fragile. They will break. They will break faster than a China vase. And let me tell you, I've seen some China vases break in my time. Not going to go into how they broke. Or why I saw them break. Or, uh, or who was doing the breaking. 
or you know whose whose hands may have gotten cut up by the shards. But but regardless, I've definitely seen some vases break in my time. Okay, I made that all up. I haven't seen any vases break in real life. I've seen them break on like cartoons where they drop off a shelf and it's just like, oh no, he's got to catch it, but they never do. Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, soft serve. Thinking about pushing right back out here with their uber advantage because they got their medic away, and they have been able to do that most of this game. Um, but it was not enough of an advantage. They did force the pop out of blue. Nobody dying yet. And red team doing the wise thing, backing away from this, because they did not have the advantage in that exchange at all. Sending in a scout to try and show chase behind, but didn't work out for them. There is a one-player advantage for the blue team, and I would expect to see them push forward. Maybe. Maybe. They're not doing it yet. Oh, taking a couple of hits now, too, so that's going to slow down the push significantly, as they've got to heal up and think is going to be a little bit tentative pushing forward. And there you go, he is going to... Oh! Take a hit and me. Oh, dodging rockets! Takes another hit, but he... Oh, no! Oh, think. Okay, that's scary. That is a very scary situation to be in, because you, you jump, and you think you're going to be getting some forward momentum on that jump going around a corner, but then you actually get caught on a wall, and you're just standing still, taking a hit from a scout or something, and you're just like, oh, no. Oh, no. But they do manage to capture the point. The Uber does come out now, which is probably very ill-timed from soft serve. They are... Yeah, they might be able to get the point back, and if they can, then it'll be okay, but no, here goes an Uber. Can it save the point? Oh, it just barely does! There could be a backup going on right now if they just send a scout in, and there you go, they take down Jay, so that is a already a huge advantage. Uh, the red team going to drop back now, but it might just be a little bit too late. The uh, Highlander team... I call them the Highlander team. They, I haven't seen many of these players actually play Highlander, but they have a big advantage right now. They could definitely push to win. They can either build the Uber, or they can just try and play off the player advantage and do some damage now, but it looks like they will just... Play it slow, build the Uber, and soft serve. What can they do? They can uh, they can lay little traps all over the place, like on top of that roof where soldiers like to jump, and maybe get a kill like that. But uh, it is a low probability event, as we like to say in the industry, a low probability event, because that is uh, that I, that's the shortest way you can say that phrase. There is no other substitute word that you can say that would make that shorter at all. None. You're thinking of it. You're, you're trying to think about it, but you can't. You can't think of anything. And if you can, go away. I'm the caster here. And, uh, no, here comes, uh, that push. That was a cute little thing, but, of course, like I said, that's a low-probability event right there. Bad luck that, uh, the Uber was kept on the soldier as he stayed up there, so a lot of them sent him into the air, and there you go! It's gonna be our blue team winning. A can't-play HL match wins the game, even though they were down 5-6 to six for two rounds they actually won one of those rounds, too, so i got to say these players are looking good, and I think you will agree with me. Thank you for watching. Of course, hit the subscribe button, and if you are actually still watching this, um, eat a cake. Just go eat a whole cake.